Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about selection tools in general and starting with the next video I will be discussing each tool in detail. I hope you don't skip this video just because it's a sort of a overview video. You can still learn some useful things especially if you are a beginner. My purpose here is to give you some uh, general idea about uh, selection tools. Now the selection tools, you can see them here, we have the rectangle select tool, ellipse select tool, free select tool, fuzzy select tool, select by color tool, scissor select tool, foreground select tool, and uh, we have some other tools that we can use as a selection tools, and this is the path tool, and also the paintbrush tool combined with the quick mask mode. You can also find these selection tools if you go to tools, selection tools, and you can see them here. Now it's very important to choose the right selection tool for the job that you're trying to do. For example, here I'm going to use the rectangle select tool to create this uh, rectangle and with control comma I'm going to fill it with black color. Control shift A to deselect. So in this case I use this tool to create this very simple graphic and uh, this was the best tool to do this job but uh, what if I have an image with this simple graphic and I want to select now this black rectangle you may think that this rectangle select tool will be the best tool to select this so I can zoom in and try to you know select it zoom out I'm going to adjust the selection and now I have selected this black rectangle but there is an easier way to do this I'm going to press the escape key to cancel the selection and I'm going to grab the fuzzy select tool and just click on this black rectangle and you see how fast and easy I have managed to select this area now let's deselect with control shift A and I'm going to create another black rectangle control comma to fill it with black color control shift A to deselect again and this time I want to select both of these black rectangles. Now I can use the fuzzy select tool, click on this one, then I can choose this option add to current selection, click here and I'm going to select them both. But there is another easier and faster way to select both these rectangles. I'll go to the select menu and choose none to deselect these uh, rectangles and this time I'm going to choose the select by color tool and just click on one of these black rectangles and you see I have them both now selected so you can see that when we choose the right tool for the job we can uh, do it much easier and faster this is a very simple example you're going to do a lot more complicated things but I just wanted to show you how important it is to select the right tool for the job and also in many cases you need to combine tools to get the job done so in the next video I'm going to start discussing each tool in detail in the meantime you can visit my channel and explore it for uh, photo editing videos where I show more advanced tricks on how to make precise selections so that's it for this one I hope that it was useful like it leave me a comment subscribe if you are new to my tutorials that's it for now. Bye.